What's up, you guys? Yo, I got a little bit of time. I just want to talk about being a fetish, right? Um, I have a video on that already, but um, I've actually had some people talk about uh, how it makes them feel to be chased. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I want to know why, and I'm gonna just cut to the chase because I have other shit to do. You know what I'm saying? Just give y'all my time when I got it. Uh, why is it that men are the only ones that get blamed for fetishizing about trans people? You feel me? In the other video I told y'all, people fetishize about a lot of different things. You feel me? A lot of different things. So, why is it that women don't get blamed for fetishizing whenever they only want to transmit or they only go searching for a specific thing and when they find it, then it's, it's a whole different story. It's, okay, this is what I found, this is what I like. Versus okay why are you chasing me why are you why are you being a why are you treating me like a fetish you feel me women are just as you know almost sexual as men so when it comes to when they want to date a specific gender or they want to date a specific person why is it always called being a fetish hold on y'all it's causing why is it always being called a fetish whenever men search for a specific thing there's a specific, there's, there's, like I said in the other video, there's a such thing, there's a tubby chase. Nobody complains about that shit. You feel me? You got people that have feet fetishes. Nobody complains about that shit. But whenever it's a, it comes to sexuality or any other thing, it's always a problem on that end, and I see that a lot. And I, I, just, I don't understand it because it's just a communication thing. If somebody just wants you for that, they're going to communicate that to you. If they want to date you, they're trying to get to know you, then take that in because at the end of the day, you're complaining because people don't want to get to know you, which is being a chaser. So at the end of the day, you can't get mad at these people for wanting to date you. That makes no sense. You're fighting, you're fighting for wanting to be accepted and, and to be loved and the people that actually want to step out and actually love you, bashing them for doing it. It don't make no type of fucking sense at all. This is a whole different, it's a whole different world. It's 2024 right now. When you tell somebody that they're fetishizing about you just because they like you, because of who you are, which is something that we want. We all want that. We all want to be accepted for who we are, but we get upset about how people want us. Because it's not exactly the way you want. They don't say it the way you want. Like I said, there's a way to say everything. This is... You have to be respectful about it, first of all. Second of all, you have to communicate because communication is everything. If you, you speak in different languages, it's not going to fucking work. You feel me? Communication is a mind thing. It's not just something that you just talk. It's communicating. Communicating means you're, you're putting your minds together, you're thinking together, you're actually making a decision together. So at the end of the day, you can't, you can't just sit there and say, oh, this is what you're doing. This is how you're treating me when you don't communicate and ask the other person. You don't ask how you feel. You don't ask, oh, are, are you really in this for, you know, my heart instead of my body parts? You don't ask that. You automatically assume that they're chasing you, and that's not what it is. A lot of these people genuinely want to be with a trans man. People are accepting themselves. They're accepting other people more. You feel me? Like all this other stuff with trans, yeah, whatever, that shit's going to go on. It's bullshit half the time, but at the end of the day, it's 2020. People aren't in the closet. People aren't sitting there hiding under a rock anymore. People are letting people know what they like. And if it's you, then stop bashing them for it. If they not your type, then just say that. Just say that. You don't have to make a big ass thing about all oh, your taste me, all oh, that's all you want. When you don't even communicate, that's what you assume that person wants from you. You don't even take the time out to even ask. You feel me? So that off the bat just lets people know that you're in defense mode already. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're, you don't have an open mind like you said. You, you're so in defense mode that you're not even able to listen to somebody tell you the reasons why they want to be with you. You feel me? So a lot of that, a lot of that has to do with, you know, self-love. You feel me? Like, if you can't sit down and listen to something good about yourself and why somebody wants you, then you need to tell yourself that a lot more. You feel me? Like I said, everybody's, like, I'm going to wrap this shit up real quick. But like I said, everybody's fighting to be accepted and to be loved. But you can't do that whenever you're blocking everybody that does out completely. You feel me? That makes no sense. So, 
I'm getting so the fuck out with that. All right, I'm 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 just being real. I'm getting so the fuck out with that because, like I said at the beginning, men aren't the only ones that fetishize about trans people. Feel me? Cis women do too. Heterosexual women do too. It's it's a thing. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't bash people for what they want. And if it's a whole bunch of other people and not you, it's okay. Why is it affecting you? Feel me? Just go about your day. You say no, that's not for me, that's not whatever. You go about your day. Because that shit, it'll really turn a lot of people off of like a whole group of people. Because then they're like, oh, hell no. Because like, anytime I try and talk to one, then it's this and that. And that. You feel me? So that kind of pushes people away from even wanting to deal with that. So you're basically reversing what you're trying to do you're reversing it you're you're pushing and scaring everybody away whenever you're like oh i want to be loved oh i want this oh i want to be accepted but first chance you get you want to bash you want to push away so i gotta think about shit like that you feel me that's just a little um off the dome type shit um i have a couple people that i do actually want to bring on here for this topic because they got some really good points uh, like I said, I just wanted to get this out real quick because I don't know when I'm going to have free time again. You know, before I got a job and shit like that. So, I'm going to be occupied a lot. I've been making a lot of money. So, um, you guys just, like, stay tuned and shit like that because shit about to get hot. And I, I'm meeting some people right now. I'm going to start hosting my parties and shit like that. These people over here don't even fucking know me. They don't even know I'm in Atlanta. You feel me? So, it's, it's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. I'm going to do what I did in Houston. So... Yeah, y'all stay tuned for it. If y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I want y'all to comment. Comment what you think a fetish is. I want you to comment what you fetishize about. I want you to comment why do you think that cis men always get bashed for fetishizing or wanting a trans man over a cis woman. Like I said, don't make sense to me. But I want you to comment why y'all think, you know, it's harder for a man to be able to say that he wants to date a trans man versus any type of woman. All right. So y'all subscribe to the channel too because uh, I got a lot. I told you I got a lot more shit coming on. Um, I'm not going to put so much as intrigue on this page anymore. So y'all go head over to the other page. Um, I want to have more intellectual conversations. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to interact with y'all. Y'all leave comments. Share the video so other people can get their insights on it. Or if you know somebody that is being caught a chaser, like let them see this video because like I said, it's gonna be a spin-off. I'm gonna have at least like two to three different, you know, LGBT members. Come on and, and tell me that I don't know if they're gonna be single videos or if they're gonna be in a group or we're all gonna do it at the same time. I don't know yet. But I want people to see the inside insights on the other people that are trying to date trans people. Why they feel like it hurts their feelings that they're being called a chaser or why they feel like that's all they want why they feel like they're a chaser you feel me so y'all just like like this video and um yeah i'm th i'm throwing off right now you guys i'm literally not ever doing this in public like this so yeah <laughs> gotta give it a thumbs up all right y'all i'm gonna let y'all later peace